Hi, boys and girls. I miss you very much. I have all of my Philly Fanatic gear with me today because I don't know if you remember, but back when we were in school, you guys were reading in a contest with the Philly Fanatic. The Philly Fanatic was running it. It was a contest where you had to read a book at least one every day and you had a circle on the calendar in your green folder um, when you read. So the Philly Fanatic actually sent us pencils a while back, remember that big poster, and this awesome book. We just never got a chance to read it. So I wanted to read it to you. The Philly Fanatic also sent me some mail. I am putting it in your special um, gift and you get your special gift and you get to say hello to us from a safe distance I want you to check it out. It's something special for you for participating and reading and becoming so 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 smart All right, so Listen carefully to Philly fanatics hero The smell of bacon and eggs woke a Philly fanatic up from a deep sleep. Breakfast is ready, the fanatic's mom, Phoebe, called out from the kitchen. The fanatic bounded into the kitchen and sat down. Phoebe cooked a big breakfast for her son. Good morning, sleepyhead. What do you have planned today, she asked. The fanatic replied, since the Phillies have the day off, I want to go outside and practice playing baseball. Don't you have homework to do? Phoebe asked. I have some math homework and a project that I had that I have to hand in tomorrow. A project? asked Phoebe. Yes, I have to draw a picture of my hero and write down why they are so awesome. Phoebe thought for a moment and said, after you are done eating, do some of your homework and then take a break and go out and play. After, breath, after breakfast, the fanatic went to his room and started his homework. Whenever he had trouble with a math problem, Phoebe was there to help. After his math homework was finished, the fanatic started his hero project. He reached into his desk drawer and pulled out a beautiful set of crayons that his mom gave him. The fanatic scratched his head and thought of all the people he admired. He thought of famous presidents and other people who have done great things. He thought of some of his favorite Phillies players, singers, and Hollywood stars, but he had a hard time choosing who to pick for his project. Phoebe walked into the fanatic's room with clean laundry and started hanging his clothes in his closet. How is your project coming along? She asked. I can't decide who to select as my hero, the fanatic said. You have been working hard on your homework, so why don't you take a little break? What do you want to do? Phoebe asked. Play baseball, the fanatic exclaimed. Soon, Phoebe and the fanatic were on the field playing their favorite game. Phoebe threw pitch after pitch so the fanatic could practice his hitting. Ow! She hit ground balls to help him with his fielding. She grabbed a catcher's mitt and caught all the balls that the fanatic pitched to her. When the fanatic sat down on the bench to rest, he got a splinter in his finger. Phoebe carefully took out the splinter with a pair of tweezers. She gave the fanatic's finger a kiss. All better, she said. Smack. Just then, the fanatic's friend, Lefty the cat, showed up. Hi, fanatic, Lefty said. Your mom called me and said you would be here. 
Do you want to play a game? The fanatic leaped into the air. You bet I do. The fanatic and his friends played baseball all day. Phoebe made lemonade and served it to the players when they got thirsty. Do you want to play, Mom? The fanatic called out. Phoebe said, I don't know, fanatic. I know how to hit balls to you for practice, but I haven't played in a real game in a long time. Come on, Mom, you can do it, the fanatic pleaded. Okay, I'll give it a try, she said. Phoebe stepped to the plate and crushed the first pitch over the fence for a home run. Whack. The fanatic lefty and all their friends cheered and carried her around the bases. After the game ended, the fanatic and Phoebe said goodbye to their friends and walked home. When the fanatic got home, he took a shower and heard his mom call out, Dinner is ready! The fanatic sat down to eat. I made your favorite dish, Phoebe said. Cheese steaks, he shouted. After dinner, the fanatic gave Phoebe a hug. Thanks for dinner and thanks for a great day. You are the best mom in the world. Just then, the fanatic had, a, had, an, had an idea. He rushed out of the kitchen, grabbed his crayons and paper, and finished his hero project. My hero. She helps me with my homework. She cleans my Phillies jerseys. She cooks the best cheesesteaks. She makes the kitchen smell good. She kisses my boo-boos. She helps me be a better play ball player. She is a great home run hitter. She buys me colorful school supplies. She loves me. That was a good book. Who's your hero? I know that Philly Fanatics was his mom. I'm wondering who your hero is. Let me know. Have mom or dad write it in the comments or um, write it in our Google Classroom under the assignment.